let's start with you, Rebel, because I've spoken to 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 Robbie uh, okay. already. But we 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 shall talk more uh, mm-hmm. about how much fun it is to be her, to be uh, my character. Yes, Jenny and Dutch. I mean, yeah, my character's pretty fun. I kind of used her a bit as a metaphor for a 1930s housewife who stuck in the kitchen. But really, she has so much more to give, and uh, uh, she wants to be a performer, but she's, because of uh, traditional gender roles, is stuck in the kitchen. And uh, a really fun character to play. I got to improvise a lot, which uh, uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to because Cats is so iconic as a musical, but you know what, I just went for it and, and made the character my own. And uh, it's very different, my number, to that no- equivalent number in the stage show. And But I'm proud of it. We made a very special movie version of that number. How was it witnessing that? I mean, obviously, she's oh. being rebel about it. Oh, my God. Well, it was the first, it was the first scene we shot. Um, and Tom just let the camera roll <laughs> because she just kept one after the other, these one-liners that had the whole crew in stitches. We, it was, I'll never forget some of the things. Remember the taxi cab thing? I mean, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> they came out of left field and they would just keep coming. And so we were, it was, it was truly astonishing to watch that because I, this is the first time I've been in a movie, whether, and let alone work with a incredible comedian. Oh, it was, it was, I mean, you call that work? That was that was a treat. That was really That's amazing. Fun. Yeah. Well, for me to watch, of course, musicals are a treat. Uh, when they're movies, are they, you know, are they very much hard work? It's definitely hard work to film them. Um, but in a way, the music uplifts you even when you're tired. The music is... Uh, once you hear that, duh, 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 like you're like, okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm ready. Um, but it, they can be brutal to film. So, for example, on my set, they they heated up the set because they didn't want us to cool down because then you could get an injury, and we had to sing and dance all day. So they heat up the set, so you just sweat. It's like you're in a sauna, and then you have to perform. And often, as you guys know, when it's really, really hot, you just want to lay there and do nothing. And and yet we were having to give full-out performances, take after take. We, um, for my number, uh, Tom would do about 60 takes per shot um, because he's you know very obsessive about getting the really... Because it is all live singing, live dancing, about getting everything perfect or to the to the way and the emotion that he he wanted it performed. And um, that, is, that is brutal. And when you watch the film and see people like Robbie do these amazing jumps and flips and um, spins, to know that he's doing that probably 60 times that day, it's just incredible to think about that. It's true that, you know, I've, I was just watching a little bit of you on, on the stage on YouTube and it's very freeing to be on a stage, you know, with just like a simple costume and just going for it. Yeah. How much is it a challenge when it is a musical that, you know, the technology is in the way, many takes, you have to be interrupted by nature. Um, there was there was one moment when we were, um, it's in the very beginning when we were running into Piccadilly Circus for the first time. And I run on to the screen and then I jump backwards and it was just because I'm inviting the camera in our world and to get to do that by jumping. I, I just remember, I remember not being able to walk the next day because I was having, number one, such a good time because I love doing what I do. Mm-hmm. And number two, this is preserved on film forever. The memory of a performance can fade and alter, but yeah. it's on film it's going to be like this forever. And people will... It's every Christmas. Yeah. Oh, Can that would I be a ask you, though, what yeah. did you do when you couldn't walk the next day? How did you come... Because Robbie shot for seven months because he's in the entirety of the film. What did you do to bounce back and be able to dance brilliantly the next day? up the room again. I took, no. <laughs> I, took, I took a hot bath in the morning, and then yeah. I took... Well, depending on where you, are, where you are in the States, it's called saran wrap, but in the UK it's yeah. called clean film. Yeah. And I would take it and I would wrap my thighs with it. What does that do? It keeps the heat in, and so your body, oh. your muscles don't have a chance to get cold. So the next day afterwards, my leg, my thighs were wrapped, my calves were wrapped, and I went and I asked um, yeah. catering. And they were like, oh, we can box up your, your to-go stuff. I was like, no, it's yeah. for my legs. Yeah, right, and that works. <laughs> oh, it's the, 
It's amazing. Oh, okay, I do yeah. Epsom salt sure. baths. Brilliant. Yeah, I love that. Tell us about your relation to musical theatre. You grew up in Australia, so it's, you know there's a big culture for musical yeah. theatre. Was Cats ever something you saw when you were younger? Um, I, I first got introduced to musicals when I was about 14. Mm. Our family's dog had auditioned to be in a musical 42nd Street. And the dog didn't get the role because it pooped in the middle of the stage on, at the callbacks. Nerves. But my maybe <laughs> he had my mum. Yeah, my mum was desperate to see what dog had got the role. So our family, that wasn't a cultured family, didn't attend the theatre. We all went to the theatre, and and to try to see this dog. But what I was amazed at is these performers doing these live singing and dancing. I was like, this is brilliant. Like, My people. Um, yeah, and I just immediately connected with it and from there had a love and um, did some musicals at, at high school and then, um, you know, tried to... Weirdly, I was never cast as the lead or anything <laughs> uh, in anything <laughs> until I was became a professional actress. Um, but but I loved it. Like, I remember my first high school musical was Grease and That's I was fun. just in the chorus, just like, you know, really, Drops, you know, doing, doing all that stuff um, and really selling it. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know, uh, they, said, like your life depended. they said I um, always stole focus. The people would always say that, that even if I wasn't the main part, people would always be looking at me. I love that. Um, That's called they, stealing. They it. used to say it in a negative way, but She's a guess star. what, guys? She's I'm now a star. in the musical Cats. I first saw Cats in London um, when I came as a student and was blown away. I don't remember much about it apart from that they were cats, and I don't think I understood it. Um, I just remember the spectacle of it and how brilliant the music was and it was, a, it was a magical world that they were creating on stage and that it had phenomenal dancing. So, um, yeah, but it's such an iconic show. It was like the first thing I did when I came to London.